The new Glock G44 versus the Walther PPQ22. Let's check it out. Glock just introduced their G44 22 long rifle pistol. It's based on the same size as your G19. Excellent for training. Uh, there's a lot of unique features about this handgun. Then we have the Walther PPQ22, which is again just like the standard PPQ in 9mm. And so these both make excellent training tools. They are completely different designs, which makes it really unique. And so I wanted to bring this out. Now, if you have a Walther PPQ, this is an excellent choice for training. And if you have a Glock 19, this is an excellent choice for training with it. But there are some differences between these two that we wanna look at. And if you're looking for a little 22, both of these are excellent, but we're gonna look at why you would choose one over the other. Or better yet, just have both. And guys, I've always been a fan of 22, and one of the first 22 pistols I owned was one of these Mark IIs. Uh, this is the five and a half inch barrel. Guys, honestly, while it does give you the basic fundamentals of side alignment, trigger control, taking care of malfunctions, it's just a totally different handgun than the one I'm carrying or the one that I'm wanting for self-defense. And so while it's good, it's not the best. And that's one of the great things about having a pistol that matches what you're carrying, what you're shooting, what you're training with. We're gonna take a look at these, but guys, even if you have a totally different firearm that doesn't have a 22 to match, these are still two great pistols to take a look at. The Battle of the Titans. And guys, we wanna break this down into similarities and in the differences uh, and some of the reasons why you would pick one over the other. Both are 22, both are similar to their larger brothers, uh, the Walther PPQ M2 and then the Glock 19 Gen 5. Those similarities definitely dictate really your choice if you have one of the other pistol. So let's make sure the guns are unloaded. We're gonna drop our magazine, check the chamber. Now there are a couple of big differences here. The Walther has a 12 round capacity magazine while the Glock has a 10 round capacity. But the Glock also has a regular size magazine that the Walther does not. It has more of a 22 style. And so for training, you're gonna have the exact same feel of the magazine, the dimensions. And so that's gonna give you a little bit of an advantage, but you're gonna have two extra rounds with the PPQ. And the magazines actually cost about the same. They're around the $25 range. Of course, the Glock is a polymer magazine, while the PPQ is a steel magazine. Both have these little tabs that help you to load. But the base pad of the PPQ magazine is about the same size as the standard. But the Walther PPQ only comes with one magazine, while the Glock comes with two magazines. Now, probably one of the biggest differences right up front is the Glock has a polymer slide. This is polymer all along the top, the same material that Glock uses for its frames but it does have a steel insert at the bottom that goes all along and inside the slide. And we'll look at that and we break it down. But this is gonna give you some reinforcement, but it's gonna keep the slide very lightweight. Uh, with the Walther, it is a aluminum alloy slide and uh, it's very lightweight slide. It's very easy to pull back. In fact, it's got that really simple 22 feel to it while as the Glock is a little more like the original G19. It has a little more tension coming back. Now, of course, with aluminum, there's gonna be a lot of wear, and when we break these down, I'm gonna show you some points that Walther put in here to help protect that. But aluminum against steel, it wears really quickly. And so Walther has reinforced it, and again, we'll check it. Uh, with the Glock, with the steel insert here, man, it really makes a difference. And again, we're going to check that out. Grips are definitely different. And this is just a Glock Gen 5 with that uh, pyramid shapes on it. Has a really good feel to it. 
with the PPQ, it's got the standard PPQ grip. Actually a little more aggressive than my standard PPQ. Walther definitely does a great job on their grips. I mean, they're just so ergonomic. Uh, with the Glock, it's got that same Glock feel to it. I've been shooting these for so long that this grip just really feels natural to me. But that's definitely a big difference. Now one thing about the grip is that you do get your additional back straps with the G44. You get four extra options. And then with the Walther, you only get the one back strap. There's no way to change it out. And so it is what it is. As far as size, direct size, they are honestly uh, very close in size. The Walther comes out just about an eighth, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. It's not much different. Uh, it will be a little thicker though and again guys this is just like their bigger brothers uh, both have ambidextrous slide stops you can see and both have magazine releases for the right hand that you can switch over for left-handed shooters you have your standard goalpost polymer sights for the glock except that they are adjustable right back here which makes a little bit of a difference here with the ppq it is adjustable but they are steel and a white dot at the front blacked out rear now, just like with their bigger brother, the Glock has a super low bore axis, whereas the Walther has a higher bore axis. But again, if you're shooting the Walther, you're used to that. And that really doesn't make much of a difference with 22 long rifle anyway. Your accessory rail, definitely Glock, and then we have a three slot pick rail for the Walther. And guys, here we have the 9mm versions of both pistols. And guys, I mean, I could go through it, but honestly, they are so much alike, it's not even funny. Uh, one thing I will mention, though, is that with the Walther, the uh, PPQ-22 weighs just a little bit less than your Walther PPQ 9mm. Uh, but then when you load the rounds, it's going to add more weight to the PPQ-9. But then when it comes to the Glock, it's considerably heavier. The Glock is pretty lightweight compared to even the Walther PPQ-22. With the Walther PPQ-22, it's 22.4 ounces. G44, 14.8 ounces. Guys, that's about an 8-ounce difference between the two. Now, one of the things that Glock wanted to achieve with the G44 is that this would be not only a training for the G19, but also something you could have in a pack, carry hiking, camping, or in the outdoors. And so lightweight would actually give it an advantage. Uh, with the PPQ, it's going to be, again, about 8 ounces heavier, and so it's going to add extra weight if you're out on the trail. Now, since we had a Walther out on the table, I wanted to bring out the P22. This is one of my favorite little 22 pistols. Uh, it's just a really ergonomic, very small handgun, and this is the Gen 2. It's been improved over the first one. Now, we took the P22 out with the G44, and you can see it's considerably a lot different. I mean, it's definitely a much smaller, very packable, just plinking-type pistol. Uh, but it really doesn't compare with these two because the grip is so small um, and it's just tiny. Now, it's great to take out to the range, but really, as far as training very well with your Walthers, I think the PPQ-22 is a much better choice, but still a great little firearm. And guys, there's a lot of different choices out on the market. You know, Beretta makes one. I know that there are a lot of uh, 1911s that are in 22 and some others. And so this isn't comprehensive. This is just kind of giving you some good ideas between these two. Now, when it comes to the trigger pull action, you have a blade safety here on your trigger. We have a little bit of take up. And then we have a nice clean break. Um, in fact, when I did the review comparing it to the PPQ, it was really close to the PPQ trigger. When it comes to the Glock, you have the safe action trigger with a little trigger blade safety. A little bit of sponginess there. And then a break. Now, guys, honestly, again, this is pretty much the same trigger that's in your standard Glock. And that's really important. Just like with the PPQ, you're going to have the same trigger feel, trigger reset. It's going to be great for training. But between these two triggers, the Walther PPQ-22 is much better. Let's check trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. 3 pounds, 2.9 ounces. And that's about what I was getting during the initial review. And the G44... 4 pounds, 4.2 ounces. Now when shooting 22, you know, the recoil is super mild. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't really make a lot of difference with any kind of muzzle flip. I mean, they pretty much shoot about the same. The Walther definitely had a little more weight to it. And, uh, you know, it just has just a little bit more of a heft to it that the G44 doesn't have. But really, I don't think it affected any kind of shooting. I mean, it was very negligible, to be honest, even though this is eight ounces more. 
uh, but the ergonomics on this pistol, you just can wrap your hand around it. Uh, with the uh, G44, you know, you're putting your hand on it. I mean, if you're used to shooting Glocks, you're shooting a Glock. I mean, that's the way it feels. And so I've shot so many Glocks for so long that this is a good grip for me. But I really like the uh, ergonomics of the Walther. I mean, it just seems to mold in my hand. But the texturing on the Glock G44 was more aggressive. I felt like I actually had a little bit better control of it as I was drawing it or, you know, handling the firearm. But as far as shooting, it was pretty negligible. We didn't have any malfunctions whatsoever. I mean, we just shot what we had and uh, it all functioned. And really, I was looking for that. I've never had any problems with the PPQ-22. And obviously, I've had one malfunction, actual malfunction, with the G44. And that's when I first pulled it out of the box. I think it was the very first magazine. And we were shooting CCI mini mags, not having any trouble. Again, really the biggest thing with these two guns is what fits your hand better. And which one of these, if any, do you have? Uh, do you have the PPQ? Then go with the PPQ-22. If you have the Glock 19, go with the G44. Um, I think durability-wise, I really like the Glock a little better with the steel uh, inserts under the polymer. It gives it a little more wear resistance, I think, over a long period of time. With the wall there, you do have those steel inserts into the aluminum. It's probably going to be pretty even, uh, but I do feel that maybe, you know, you're getting some wear between the aluminum and the steel as it impacts it. But to be honest with you, they're both great little guns and uh, they shoot very well. What'd you think? Initial initial response between the 43 and the PPQ-22. I thought they felt like I was shooting the exact same gun with the exception of the grip angle. You know, that one's got obviously the, the traditional grip angle where this one's a little more straight up, so I had to roll my wrist back more to a neutral position with this one. But they they felt the same. I agree, I agree, it was funny. Yeah, the, the trigger pull, the brake, the reset, uh, the recoil impulse, everything about the two guns felt very, very similar to one another. Right. Um, the one thing that really kind of surprised me was the weight of the recoil spring in this one. The, the Glock 44, the recoil spring feels very similar to like a factory recoil spring in a 19. Yeah. The PPQ 22, it's got a really light recoil spring like you would expect in a blowback 22. Right. So, and it was, it shot like I thought that it would. It was very soft, very flat, very accurate. The Glock was the one that really surprised me. The heavier recoil spring in the slide and the weight of the slide, I thought that you would have a lot more reciprocating mass, which would generate more, more, more of a heavy recoil impulse, and that just wasn't the case with the gun. And the, the, and the PPQ-22 is a little bit heavier. It's eight it, ounces heavier, it, it actually. It is. It's substantially heavier. But as far as recoil and muzzle flip, the guns felt the same. I mean, yeah. very, very, very similar. Yeah. Now here's where we're going to see a lot of the differences. We're going to go ahead and drop our magazine, make sure the gun is unloaded. We're going to disassemble the firearm, bring down your tabs, standard Glock breakdown. Have a recoil spring, guide rod, and then your barrel. Uh, now one thing about this is that this is a small miniaturized barrel for the 22, but it still retains the same kind of action that you have in your standard Glock 19. And when it comes to the frame and the parts, I mean, this thing looks identical. Uh, one of the big differences is your locking block here is different. But you have your slide rails here and here like you do on your standard Glock. Polymer slide, but again, we have this internal steel embedded uh, piece that is part of your slide rails. Looks again, very similar to the standard G19. And this is going to really be nice as far as wear. Uh, you're not going to get any with the steel on steel, so it makes it really nice. 
and yet you have the polymer to keep it lightweight. Now the PPQ, again, double check, make sure the gun is unloaded. Pull the trigger, bring down your takedown tabs here. Now bring the slide back and up, and then it comes off like your standard blowback action, which this is. Now this is a totally different departure from your standard PPQ, recoil spring, and your guide rod that's embedded underneath the barrel. Uh, you have your fixed barrel, uh, which a lot of 22s have that, and again, blowback design. That, this is a completely different setup than your G44, and for that matter, for your Waller PPQ. Another thing is, this is a hammer-fired pistol. So you can see right here, we have our hammer, we're not gonna pull it. But this is a hammer, and but yet it still mimics what the Waller PPQ and 9mm does. And so this is a major difference, though, from your standard PPQ. And it does add a lot of weight. I mean, there's a lot of weight right here with your fixed barrel. And so that's where the weight's coming in. With the slide, we have steel reinforced right here into the aluminum. And then right here, we have steel reinforced for your slide stop, which is really important because aluminum on steel will wear out quickly. And so they have beefed it up somewhat. But with the Glock, we've got all steel underneath embedded into the polymer. So I don't really see any weakness with the PPQ, but I do see a lot of strength with the G44. And one thing about the Glock though, is that Glock says you can dry fire these with no problem. Uh, I think with the hammer fired rim fire, I think you're gonna have a little more issue with dry firing it excessively over a period of time. Now one big plus for the PPQ is we do have an internal threaded barrel. This is a thread protector. You can take this off. So you can put on an adapter and put on suppressors. With the G44, they are coming out with an additional barrel that is threaded, but it'll be an added accessory. So that is one thing that the PPQ does have an advantage over. Now you'll look and see that the barrel of the Glock is much thinner than the PPQ. But when you look at it from this direction, it's actually a sleeve inside a housing. And with the Glock, it's one solid piece. Good or bad, I don't know, but I just wanted to point that out. And honestly, this barrel is steel. It just has another steel insert inside. So there's no weakness there. Uh, but with the Glock barrel, again, it's all steel, one piece. Now with reassembly, we need to drop in our recoil spring. There's a certain direction that it needs to be done. Put in our recoil spring. And then bring in your recoil spring here and then bring your barrel through and then all the way over and then down. And then bring in your tabs and we're back in business. With the Glock, drop in your barrel just like normal. It is smaller, so it's kind of funny, but then we bring in our dual recoil spring, uh, which to me is much beefier than the uh, Walther spring. The Walther spring was really light, a little bit flimsy. This gives you a little bit more of a solid piece. We're gonna bring it back over the frame, and we're good to go. So guys, after disassembly, we can see there is a considerable amount of difference between the two pistols internally. Uh, the Walther PPQ-22 is a huge departure from the standard Walther PPQ. And I could break it down, but it just makes the video longer. And there's a ton of videos out there about the PPQ. But then the Glock 44 is definitely very close to all the internals of your standard G19. Now, as far as price goes, uh, the Walther is running around the $330, $340 range. When it comes to the G44, this not even coming out at the making of this video, uh, they're still looking at about $359 uh, map price. So it's really close, about a $20 difference between the two. And honestly, if you have a G19, you need to go ahead and spend the extra $20. Bucks. Then if you have the Walther, <laughs> then buy the Walther. Now guys, for the Walther PPQ-22, I want to thank GunBuyer.com. They sent this for the initial review, and we've been using it ever since. And then, of course, with the Glock G44, uh, I did get this from Glock, but um, this is a t and &E gun, and I bought it, and I love it. <laughs> Actually, I love both of them, and I'm keeping both of them. Now guys, there are advantages and disadvantages to both, and we've gone through a lot of the details, and that's for you to decide. Uh, if you have a G19, the G44 fits really well for training. And then if you have a PPQ, this one fits very well. Again, similarities and differences, and you just have to decide which one's best for you. And again, you may not have either one of these type pistols in their full-size 9mm version, but one or the other can help you with your training.
Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. standard Walther P22 or PPQ. Okay. Very ergonomic handguns. Glock root. The G44 is not only but you have that damn it. When it comes to the PPQ oops, that you would end up with with a lot more got a friend. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I got a free. <laughs> Should have taken that shower out. Oh yeah. And there are all the tripods. Alright, let's go. <laughs> we get the tripod.